Hi, my name is Serge Madeline. I'm part of the developer advocacy team at Hedera. Today, I would like to take you through a quick demo of how Hedera can be used to easily and securely issue and operate loyalty tokens using Hedera token service. Distributed ledger technologies came with a shiny cool promise of tokenization, from which loyalty schemes can definitely benefit. DLT-based loyalty points can inherit improved security and transparency of cryptocurrencies, enhance fraud prevention, and resistance to double spending compared to traditional loyalty schemes. However, in reality, many of the DLT platforms came with the burden of very complex and risky development lifecycle. Developers often need to learn a new exotic language to write what's called a smart contract that describes the token. A smallest error can lead to losses of customer funds that cannot be retrieved. Even more, running the app usually has high and unpredictable operational fees, ridiculously slow transaction speed, and overall complexity of implementation. Hedera solves this problem by offering a tokenization solution that enjoys the benefits of Hedera itself, like predictable and low fees and no need for smart contracts. Everything is done through the APIs, wrapped in developer-familiar languages, so a wide range of developers will find it really easy to develop on Hedera. On the screen, we can see a very simple demo showing capabilities of creation, transfer, and management of the tokens on Hedera using Hedera Token Service. We will use Hedera Token Service to create simple loyalty points-like structure. Users will be able to exchange these tokens for different loyalty rewards that we will publish in a loyalty redemption store. We will also create a simple NFT gift card that can be exchanged for a specific item in the loyalty redemption store. We will look at the user experience from the perspective of three actors, an issuer, entity which creates and distributes the tokens, and two users, Alice and Bob. We've pre-created Hedera accounts for them, which can be identified by their Hedera user account IDs. We'll also top up their accounts with some HBAR, which is used as a payment to process transactions. These are the view buttons that represent what's called a very simplified wallet, a view into what token users own and user interface to manage them. The user interface can be changed and is just for the demo purposes. Let's look at how easy it is to create a token using Hedera token service and discuss some of the customization of the token we offer natively. The DLT industry currently recognizes two main meta types of tokens fungible and non-fungible tokens. Fungibility is the ability of a good or asset to be interchanged for another of kind. One US dollar can be easily exchanged for another US dollar without much of the difference to the owner. Many goods and assets are not interchangeable, such as owned cars and houses, so they are non-fungible. Same applies for the tokens. Fungible tokens are a great use case for digital assets that display properties of what we consider close to the notion of money, but can have some additional codified functionality on top of it, like loyalty points. Non-fungible tokens often used to represent unique items, sometimes physical, sometimes digital. For example, an item in a virtual game, digital art, or a coupon to exchange for a product at a supermarket can be implemented as an NFT. Let's imagine a scenario where we'd like to create a new loyalty program for our customers. Every time our customers shop in our shops, a percentage of purchases goes back to the customer's wallets in form of loyalty tokens. These tokens can be exchanged for redeemable items on the redemption marketplace. Let's start with creating a new fungible token representing loyalty pro points for our program. This token creation wizard will help us define the token properties and issue a new token. In reality, you would use uh, Hedera SDK to issue the command to create, mint, and transfer new tokens. Any Hedera token has to have a name and a symbol. These are used to identify tokens among many others in a human-readable format. We call our loyalty points loyalty token sample and assign it a symbol LTS. Next step is to decide on the initial supply and if supply can be changed. How many tokens do we create now? Can we issue more tokens in the future? As our loyal pro loyalty program expands, we may want to have additional tokens in circulation compared to the initial amount. So we will set variable supply type with an initial supply 
of 1 million tokens. We have pre-selected some cool token configuration features that Hedera offers as well. For example, we set the KYC parameter on. It means that any user who would want to receive our loyalty points in their account first would have to be approved by the issuer or issuer delegated authority as known. This can be very helpful in the situations where organization has reporting requirements on the holders of the tokens it created. Another useful feature that we've set is an admin key for this token, which means that the properties of this token can be changed over time by the party in the, position, in the possession of a special admin key. For example, over time, we may no longer need to have a KYC field requirement for the tokens. An admin can change this property over time. If this feature isn't needed, we don't have to set it, which means that the token is immutable and never can be changed. There are many more other great features that Hedera Token Service offers. For a full list, please refer to Hedera Documentation Portal, available at docs.hedera.com. And now we are about to witness one of the Hedera's superpowers, its insane transaction speed. Normally, on most other networks, we would have to wait for somewhere between a minute to 15 minutes sometimes for a transaction to be confirmed. With Hedera, it takes about three seconds to get a confirmed and final transaction. That's it, our loyalty points token is now live on the network and is ready for distribution. To make sure we're not making it up, let's check Hedera Explorer, which constantly monitors the network for new transactions and confirms that the token were indeed created. Hedera Explorers are external observers that observe Hedera Network and log events that are happening there. Think of them as logging and business intelligence tools. Auditability is key here. We can build business intelligence tools around the data because we can listen to the events happening to the token on the ledger. So awesome, we can see that um, the token has been created with the, with the name loyalty token sample and symbol LTS, and now we need to advertise our program to the users. So we advertise the loyalty program to the users that, you know, you get 10% cash back from all the purchases, and our user Alice hears about it and decides to join the program. We can see that her initial token balance is not available, and uh, she needs to make some purchases to earn her loyalty points. First, she needs to apply for the program and subscribe for it. And once she applies for it, we can see that her initial token balance is zero. Let's imagine that Alice goes to our e-commerce store and buys some goods for $1,000. We want to reward her with 10% of the purchase total sum in a form of loyalty points. For example, each loyalty point is representing one USD. So we will send Alice 100 LTS tokens representing 10% of $1,000. Here we are sending 100 tokens to Alice. As we can see, the transaction will fail by design because as you remember, we've set the KYC field on the token and first we need to label Alice as a known user by the authority and grant her account KYC. This issues a special authorization transaction to Hedera saying yes I know who Alice is and I'm okay with her getting our loyalty tokens. Now when we send Alice 100 LTS tokens We can see that transaction is successful and we can see that Alice now has a total uh, token balance of 100 LTS tokens. She now can send these tokens to other registered users or use them to redeem items on the marketplace. This is a foundation of a functionality rich token that is secure and fast by design. The next step would be to start building business logic around the token primitive. Let's create our first redeemable item. 
For example, Apple Watch that can be exchanged for a certain number of LTS points. We would like it to be redeemable for, let's say, 50 loyalty token samples, LTS tokens. And now we are about to create a redeemable item. And now it's been added. Now when Alice will go to the Redemption Marketplace, she will see that Apple Watch is available on the Redemption Marketplace. And when pressing Redeem button, she will see an option to redeem with 50 loyalty to sample tokens. Once she clicks this button, the transaction is issued to the network and we can see that her balance went down. She now has 50 LTS instead of 100, but now she also owns one Apple Watch. Congratulations, Alice. Another example I'd like to quick, quickly walk you through is a product and gift card uh, creation. It works slightly differently as each instance of the gift card is unique and represents one-to-one -one redemption value. We are creating an NFT token that our customers can exclusively exchange for this time, let's say, a Samsung Galaxy Watch. Because it's an NFT token, it can also have some unique properties associated with it. So let's create a new template of the unique properties that are describing the properties of a gift card. Let's say, for example, it's Samsung. Card color is white. Blue font color. Also upload a logo. Another field here is metadata storage type. Um, as we are uploading a logo as part of our gift card creation process, we want this image to be stored immutably in some form of a decentralized storage. Hedera offers its own st storage ser service, uh, but we also can choose any other decentralized storage solution. Here we use a popular file storage protocol called IPFS. We will use it to upload the gift card metadata to. Let's not worry about KYC option for this token. It means that anyone can hold this gift card without our explicit approval. And now we click Create. And again, a couple of seconds and our gift card is created and ready for distribution. This gift card has a unique serial number and full ownership history can be observed by the external observers and it can only be exchanged for the item once. Let's go ahead and create a new redeemable item in the Redemption Marketplace. A Samsung Galaxy Watch. And now, here we can choose whether this, whether this item can be exchanged either for one gift card of a Samsung Galaxy Watch NFT or for 50 loyalty points. That's pretty cool. We can easily create marketplaces where different types of tokens can be accepted. We can do so many really, really cool things like loyalty points per brand and even loyalty point exchanges. For the gift card NFT that we've created, let's imagine we want users to be able to buy it rather than earn through loyalty points purchases. Let's send this gift card to a marketplace and offer users to buy this NFT for, let's say, five HBAR tokens. Bob always wanted to buy um, Samsung Galaxy Watch. So he buys the Galaxy Watch um, NFT gift card of the marketplace for five HBAR. And now he has this card in his wallet and can confirm that he has it. And now he can go to the Redemption Marketplace and exchange a Samsung Galaxy Watch for either 50 loyalty token sample tokens or one Samsung Galaxy Watch token.
which he will do. Congratulations, Bob. You now have a Samsung Galaxy Watch and the gift card has been burned. Normally, it would take very, very long time to build this functionality and make it safe and secure and easy to manage. With Hedera, it's secure, fast and auditable by design. The tokens have full traceability into ownership and transfers and are never at risk of double spend. If you'd like to run this demo yourself, it is available as an open source project on GitHub under hashgraph slash Hedera HDS demo in a branch called Loyalty Demo. This repo has detailed instructions on how to set everything up and in no time you will be up and running. I hope this quick demo inspired you to create your own loyalty scheme solutions and we at Hedera are really looking forward to hearing about your ideas. Thank you.